my face and my mind are not connected. They're just separate entities. They John. occasionally communicate. John. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's us. Your friendly defenders of Cobalt. Some say too friendly. Already causing problems. Yeah. So, hi, I'm John. I'm running the game tonight. I guess I'm kind of doing a little bit of the intro. There's Chuck. You know Chuck. Got all these people here. And uh, we're going to do something a little different tonight. Uh, might be this week and next week. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how things are going. And if people want to continue with it, uh, just a, a little little heist. Uh, we're doing uh, the, the first little, uh, I guess, uh, adventure, you could say, uh, from the Universe Ball Anthology, which is a Kickstarter that they backed a year or two ago. Uh, and uh, everyone here is going to be playing lizard people, uh, refugees on board a space cruise ship and they need to steal the unique fuel of the spaceship to get a heart for for their mom or mom uh but we'll get to that uh but in the meantime why don't we have people introduce themselves and their characters and i'm gonna look at the overlay we'll start we'll start with tyler down in the corner oh, god i hadn't come up with a name yet <laughs> uh i'm playing the muscle who's tyler uh, not okay. very wise, uh, very strong. That's about it. Okay. All right. Pick on somebody else next, Tyler. Oh, God. Uh, Chuck. Ah, it's me. I'm Chuck. I'm playing Ralph. Wildcard bitches. Health inspector. Uh, yeah. That's me. All right, Chuck. Pick the next person. Uh, Dan. Uh, I'm playing... The cat burglar named also Cat, but with a K, because that's different. But I'm Dan. Okay. Dan, who goes next? Uh, let's see. I, I think the next person who hasn't gotten a new overlay, according to me, is Jake. By that, I mean the Zoom overlay. Well, I'm Jake with the Defenders of Kobold, and I am playing the con man. Just the con man. He wouldn't give out his real name anyway. So, uh, Joe, who you got? I am playing Gilroy, the brain, who may or may not be a psychic. Uh, I... And then I guess April. Cool. Hey, I'm playing Marvin. He's the new guy. He's, he's just trying to figure out how to fit in. Indeed. Indeed. All right. So... We're going to kick this off. So, a little bit of backstory, I guess. A little box text. Your galaxy has been ravished by an enormous, life-sucking space creature known by its victims as a dreaded Duddle Paw. Duddle Paw has withered all life in your star system to extinction, all except for a tiny population on your planet, Adobe who barely survived the creature's clutches after the discovery of a potent chemical that fended it off. Although the monster was thwarted, your planet was left in apocalyptic ruins. You are now the scraps of a, a devastated galaxy, and Adobe has become a dangerous wasteland riddled with crime. The conditions of your planet have turned you into small-scale bandits, stealing food and clothing to scrape by. You've only really survived the apocalypse this long, thanks to the kindness of a retired elderly jewel thief named Jam Dreamweaver, <clears throat> who spent her entire stolen wealth to care for you and a few other crooks. Together, you have formed a band of thieves, family really, led by Jem herself. Unfortunately, Duddle Pa's attack has left Jem in a life-threatening condition in desperate need of a new heart. Your crew has made it their mission to get her a new one. However, hearts are precious commodities, and Adobe, Adobe no longer has anything worth stealing that can afford the organ. For what feels like ages, you've been down on your luck and dwindling resources and hopes of saving your beloved friend and almost mother. Just when the fate of the Adobean people seemed to be at its bleakest, a golden cruiser liner, cruise liner, cruiser liner, words, 
uh, mysteriously appeared from the heavens and claimed to be a rescue sent to fly your remaining population to the nearest habitable galaxy. With no other options, the remaining Adobians have agreed to teleport on board. And we will be picking up with you entering the lobby. Your crew and Jem are currently standing in the ship's grand circular lobby, surrounded by the uncertain murmurs of your fellow refugees. The room would look elegant were it not for the harsh indications of aging. Its walls are made out of a rusted golden metal and little robots coated in scratches are whizzing about, confiscating the guest's weaponry. All around you are the scrappy, eccentric criminals of Adobe. Only they are now toting luggage and sporting tattered vacation wear, straw hats, loud, brightly colored shirts. Uh, the people of your planet seem generally enthused about having a relaxing post-apocalyptic holiday. Your crew, on the other hand, has no time for rest. The SSOS is excessively lavish. The perfect opportunity to pocket some trinkets and raise money for gem. And that is where we leave you in the lobby, the crowded lobby of this space cruise liner. So we're here to steal. Yeah. Is there like a main, um, like, uh, desk, like help desk kind of area? Um, everyone, give me, give me a, a wisdom roll. That's a, basically a perception check in this game. Starting out real good already here. I rolled a mm. zero. Hey, yo. <laughs> no, no. How in the fuck? Nice. I, I found I the win. Oh my god! Yeah. I found the help desk, <laughs> and I'll just okay dive into like a plan. Oh, All right. Uh, so looking around, you don't see a desk, but some things do stand out. Uh, high above, there is uh, a crystal chandelier of some kind. Looks expensive, um, and there does appear to be some sort of pole that rises up from the floor up towards the chandelier. They're off to one side, oddly enough, uh, kind of away from the crowd. There is what looks like a stand of, well, wine bottles, like a like a little sh you know, shelf, and it's got a, a bunch of wine bottles arrayed around it. And there's the floor around it is all like tiled in red. Uh, there is also a uh, plant in a far corner that has this luminescent fruit hanging from it, and there is also a uh, like a like a clock uh, that has uh, hands that are done in what looks to be like emerald, like just brilliant emerald kind of coloration. Mm -hmm. um, now, to give you all an idea, I'm going to share with you a picture of yes. of Jem uh, because now Jem rides an invisible wheelchair uh, because she is so ill. Um, now, when you say invisible wheelchair, is this like okay? <laughs> okay, that's it's an, it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like this picture already. Yeah, that yeah. Go, oh, go, oh, spam. Well, so yeah, so that's Jem. Old Grandma Jem, she needs her <laughs> yes. wine. I, at a minimum, I am going to fetch that wine. The All right, most... you're heading for the wine? No. Okay. I'm going to get the wine. Okay. From where I'm at. With okay. a boomerang. Do you, do you have a boomerang? I take my pants off. <laughs> okay. I squat down. And I use my 3D printer ass to create a boomerang. All right. As you... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Remove the boomerang <laughs> and, you, and you hold it aloft. One of the little robots comes by and touches it, and your boomerang disappears before you can throw it. I'm Shit. sorry, sir, but we do not allow weaponry on board the it's vessel. It's not a weapon, it's a boomerang. I don't even want to know like, what that smells like. Do you like expect as... him to go get those things on its like, own? 3D printers already smell bad. There is they like get a little really hot too. Y you know yeah. those little <laughs> bifold yellow signs. There is one that appears next to the wine rack, like not on the tiles, but next to it. What does it say? It says 
Um, so it is a rack of fancy wine bottles from uh, all across the universe. The labels reveal that these bottles are not actually filled with wine, but rather the souls of ancient spirits collected in a liquid form. This rack is stood at, uh, in this square, and uh, the sign reads, Caution, Horny Floor. I jump on the floor. Oh, yeah. Step on yeah. daddy. <laughs> I'd step harder. Oh. oh! Did you put your shoes on before you keep doing that? My God. It's getting <laughs> obscene. I grab harder. a bottle of wine and step harder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a dexterity roll. You got it. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, as 11. you... 11. Okay, perfect. As you grab the wine bottle, and you're like, ah, oh, I got it. The floor lets out an ecstatic moan and tremors and vibrates, and you drop the wine bottle, and it shatters and uh, the the liquid kind of splooshes up onto your clothing, but there's also like a little bit of a ghostly essence, and then it kind of settles in. What's your alignment, Chuck? I don't know. Probably chaotic neutral. I'm guessing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you hear whispers, kind of in your head, in your ear. You should really settle down, get a job, raise a family. Be a more law-abiding person. Okay. Mm. I'll get my tie out. Apparently, <laughs> you've got a, the are spirit you of disappointed a dad. I am. <laughs> of course you are. What are the rest of you doing? Not walking over there. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> kind of scoping oh. out, you know, oh, what the best that. way... For me to get up to that chandelier for mm. some stealing is going to be later, since mm. I can walk on floors uh, and ceilings. Sure. And I'm curious too, mm. like, so did we all like materialize in place Walls. as we were teleported, or is there More like a less. teleporter pad that we're like walking out of? No, you kind of materialized in place. You're guessing this is just okay. kind of the largest space that they had available for this right now. Um, okay. So, uh, Dan, or mm -hmm. Cat, as it were. Uh, there's a dented pole that is erected from the center of the floor and up into the ceiling through a half-shattered chandelier. Uh, there are hundreds of expensive-looking crystals ripe for the snatching. There is a scraggly Adobian woman already attempting to scale the pole to retrieve them. Um, give me, give me a wisdom roll. Oh, I'm I'm real smart. <laughs> uh -huh. You have no idea who this is. Uh, <laughs> Well, it's no one I care about. That's why I just stack. You know. <laughs> All right, uh, you can give me a uh, a dexterity check to to see if you can scale up there and get some crystals. <laughs> You're having some trouble because it's like somebody greased this pole with some sort of lotion or ointment or, or something and as you kind of look up as you're scrabbling up there you see that the, the scraggly woman does indeed have a little bottle of like suntan lotion and she's squirting it out and like rubbing it on the pole as she's going and like you know making it more difficult for you would it matter if I forgot that I have a plus two on acrobatics if this counts <laughs> it would matter you are okay. able to scrabble past her Oh, good. Like, oh, <laughs> the old lotion up the pole trick. I see. There's also the uh, kick the person who's beneath you trick. <laughs> there uh. is. There is. <laughs> so you are able to scrabble up there and grab some, some of these crystals. Um, what are the rest of you looking into? And there are more wine these. bottles, by the way. Well, are. <laughs> now that I have a proper job, I cannot steal please continue that's good. Joe that's good uh, I want to try and catch one of these robots okay and see like so is there anything planned for us or like what? what's the deal here we are just removing things that may be used for violence away from people for their own safety for our safety yes 
Okay. That would be violence is very unethical in most situations. So we do not condone it, and we try most to remove implements situations. of violence. Is there anyone else on the ship? I'm gonna, can, I, can I raise my hand to the robot and ask if my uh, guns are classified as dangerous weapons? Yes, and it takes your guns. No, no I mean my hands. muscles. Oh, your oh your your gun show. My guns. They're like yeah. the, <laughs> the robot just like huh, and does not compute. Okay. Whew. Didn't want to lose my arms. Yeah, that'd be terrible. <laughs> there goes Dan. Oh my gosh! Right. There it is. Uh, Joe, what were you doing again? I was asking: Is there anyone else on the ship, or are we the only ones? No, no. There are many passengers on the ship. Most of them are in their cabin right now, and there is a captain and several other crew aboard as well. They will, oh. I'm sure, be with you momentarily. Do we have cabins? Everyone will have their own personal cabin. Sweet. I kind of want to just case the place sure, and come back later for? once we figure out where our cabins are, because I imagine there's a lot of people around and there's I don't really want to draw attention. Sure, sure. Like you said, uh, there's the you, you do see cat climbing up and stealing some crystals and like kicking some old lady. Uh, right. You do see uh, that uh, Ralph is having an experience over by the wine rack. Uh, there is uh, there's a, a tree with a single luminescent fruit in the back. Oh yeah, I forgot about the tree. Mm -hmm. And actually, as you're looking at it, uh, <clears throat> there appears to be some sort of uh, some alien of some kind coiled like a snake around the tree. This feels like some weird biblical shit. Cool. What's up? Does it? Are you walking like, up to it? Can I like wave to the? Like, does it call up? It, it it doesn't have any arms, but it kind of comes down and it looks at you. He's like, "You should take the fruit." Okay, that's what I was. Okay, yeah. Uh, what is it? Take the fruit. It's free. But what is it? It's the uh, glowing fruit. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's it's free. It's fine. But. Wait, no, wait, hold on. I'm not sure if that's how that works, my guy. What? Uh, what does it, what's the, do you know what it tastes like? Oh, no, does I'm not. Like... I, I don't, I don't eat the fruit. I just give it that way. You know, that's just my thing. I'm a nice person. Oh. My name's Garrett. Okay, hi, Garrett. Nice to meet you. Um. Anyway, so wait, how are you convincing people to try this fruit if you've never actually tried the fruit before? I... Because like, I'm, people like me have questions. That's it's true. That's true. I, I'm, to be fair, I'm more of a meat eater. Fruit gives me terrible gas and other unpleasant things, eh. so I don't eat fruit. But I, I was paid to be here to give away the fruit as like complimentary uh, welcome to the ship. Uh, While uh, Marvin's making small talk with the snake, <laughs> I want to be on the other side of the tree picking as much fruit as I can. Okay, there's only the one. Uh, oh. <laughs> But give me a dexterity if you want to do it sneakily. Okay. <clears throat> nice. Yes. That's All right. Fine. And you you have a glowing fruit uh, that you can... I think there should be an inventory tab on the sheet. You can just put luminescent fruit, glowing fruit, whatever. Um, for the right person, might fetch a good price. Uh, mm -hmm. I would like to rejoin the party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I have finished putting on my tie and my blazer. Very good, very good, you hear whispering here. A proper citizen we've made of you. Yes, that's very good. Thank Back you. Back in is my he the day, only one that hears this? He is the only one that hears this. Okay. But his his clothing appears to be stained with something. Uh, it's a little damp yet. Uh, maybe a little gooey. Maybe a little tie luminescent. Tie sports coat on now. Does. Still no pants. Still no pants. He <laughs> never pulled them back up. They're just around his ankles. Yes. He's just uh, shuffling. Just got the baggy dress shirt with the gem. tie. And uh, to the same like robot I was talking to, mm -hmm. like, do you guys have like a hospital or an infirmary or 
Any sort of like healthcare, medical services, heart transplant services? Uh, we do not offer like those that. services, but we do have uh, stasis uh, fields available and other amenities. Uh, the You will be notified of those when you get to your cabin. Okay. Because I think they need that. I'm going to point to Jim. Okay. As you point to Jim, mm-hmm. you actually overhear... Uh, <clears throat> you hear Jem shouting through the crowd in distress. You look over to find three middle-aged men statured over her. They appear to be giving her a wet willy. Oh. Wicked. No one gives Jem a wet willy without getting a wet willy first. Right. I agree. Let's, Let's get him. Willy right. these guys wetly. <laughs> I don't like and how that I'm sounded gonna, in my ears. I'm going to show you uh, some pictures here. Pictures. Uh, so yeah, this guy. Let's see. Oh, okay, uh, if you click on one, two, and three, those are the three dudes. Uh, I don't think it changes if I do it, but yeah. Don't Good lord! Like number two is giving me some weird vibes. <laughs> yeah, number two <laughs> needs to go to jail immediately. <laughs> yeah. some things. <laughs> Concerned about Toby Prime. Uh-huh. I mean, he's Toby a lizard. Toby Prime is just immediately <laughs> concerning. A lizard with nipples. Why Thank does he have much. nipples? I guess. Why do you have a 3D printer ass? Yeah, <laughs> so many concerns. Why do I have a Fu Manchu? Why do I have a cop mustache? <laughs> Why do I have a full grown beard? I can do this all day. Me Why too. are his nipples gonna... pointing straight fucking down? <laughs> That's more Gravity. of my Heavy. question. Yeah, Gravity is just lack of man. lack of muscle tone. That's <laughs> number two, though. He got Toby. <laughs> Toby got some trauma. Toby and sees oh. uh, harassing. Toby gem. was in the war. Like, <laughs> oh, leave me alone! I'm just an old lady. Leave me alone! I'd get you with that kind of spam if I had spam. I would like to defuse this situation. Okay. I am going to cartwheel over there. All right. Stick my feet up in the air. (laughs) And use my feet as puppets. Hey now, friends. There's no need for any of that. Why don't you leave poor old Jem alone? Okay, give me... Give me a charisma check. Can I use my hypnosis ability to... Because it says... I create a hypnotizing pulse of energy that makes any creature with lower wisdom suggestible to your commands for an action. Do I get any bonus for using my feet? It's Uh, like a pulse of energy, so I imagine someone else giving commands would be... Sure. Uh, you'd probably get a plus two for your seductive feet. Okay, uh, that's a so, nine. So that's a nine. All right. Mm. Um. Yeah. The uh, let me let me just pull up. Hey, there's feet thing. on my face on the stream. Could I Thanks, retroactively Sammy. give him a shoulder massage? <laughs> he, he's going over there, and you loose. Well, he cartwheeled over there. You grab him. He's he's currently upside down. Puppet talking with his feet. Are you bending down to like rub his shoulders as he's like hand standing? Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I'm going to like, I'm not going to uh, like bend down. I'm going to like full drop on my back and like be looking at him (laughs) up and do it like, yeah, man, you're doing so you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. You're doing so good. It's such a great performance. Nice. All right. Okay. Like, hey, hey, hey. He gets to roll advantage. Who are you talking? Yeah, you can roll with advantage. Go ahead and roll oh, uh, roll a second time, see if you get any better. Ooh. It made a difference with yeah, my bonus. 17. That's yeah. a 17. Teamwork. Yeah, you've, uh... I give you a high five with my foot. Mm. Yes, deciduous cyborg. It is giving new meaning to the term sock puppet. Uh <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they like, uh, hey, you know, 
who are you? You know, it, coming over here with your sexy feet, talking to us with your sexy feet. You're stirring feelings and confusion. And I don't like that. My name is Ralph. I am a businessman. Mm -hmm. What is your GDP? What? 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 Business. Give me a... Uh, yeah. I like it, that. It's just like they're kind of backing off. I like that because your tie is 3D printed. It's still like upright. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I 3D printed the little hinging move, so it moves just very stiff. It's it's just like yeah, <laughs> bent like that in front of you. Stuck at ninety degrees. Are any of the rest of you doing anything, or have you closed in on this? Or did that stop all three of them? Uh, it stopped a couple of them for for a moment. They're like thinking about it, thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, you, you guys are just, you're just punks. What if I offered you the content of this bag to leave her alone? Give me a charisma check, there, cat. Oh, good. I'm, I'm not good at those. Oh, I don't want what's in your smelly bag. That no, that that doesn't sound right. Uh. Yeah, I will put on my sunglasses, Ellie. grow a cop stash, and I will walk over to the group of ruffians and say, "What's all this over here?" Upon my walkie-talkie, we have a situation on floor one. Are you are you attempting to impersonate an officer? Yes. Give me a charisma check. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, they're like, uh, you're not a cop. You didn't tell us you were a cop, so you're not a cop. That's how we know. Son of a bitch, he's got me there. Oh, shit. You're right. I'm a super villain, and I'll grow a Fu Manchu. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, ah, son of a bitch. You're looking for hirelings, thugs, huh? I mean, I suppose I could use some. Why not? Uh, we're pretty good. Toe beep gang. Oh. I'm toe beep. That's toe beep. And that's sanitizer. Oh, <laughs> if if they're going to be your, you know, uh, minions, they need protective gear so they, they don't get injured. They should have some mouth guards. Agreed. Get them some mouth guards. I will get them, them some mouth some guards. Mouth guards. <laughs> Okay. It's quite a literal way to eat shit, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't made any bad choices at all. That's that's what's happened here. There are no bad choices. John knew what he <laughs> was getting into. I do. I did. <laughs> it's and the next evolution of the Goblin You game. included the wild card <laughs> character mm -hmm. and didn't work with someone else to keep it away from me. <laughs> so have been a secret yeah, you, pact you, with Tyler. <laughs> Tyler, don't let Chuck be the wild card. No, it's too late. Please. So they're like, uh, uh, I, I don't want to put that in my mouth. Boss? Look, and they look, look at up. you. You can look wait up. for it to cool off. Yeah, you do have to wait just a, a little second for it to cool off, otherwise it might burn you, right? No, but, you um, got to put it in while it's still hot so that it can form to their mouth better. Well, that's what you did, cause, and now you just look like normal teeth now, so... I mean, look, I got hit on the head a few times in football. That doesn't mean nothing. It, it, that doesn't mean nothing. What was... <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was that? Look, all right, fellas, I'll tell you what. Um, we're here to impersonate <laughs> the authorities on board this ship so we can, so we can rob these motherfuckers blind, all right? But we have here in this sack... Uh, some money to get us all started. We have uh, walkie-talkies, sunglasses, uh, any sort of non-weapon amenity that can be printed from Ralph's butthole. Um, yeah, if you make a weapon, right. they take it away, and I'm going to 3D print a knife to show them. Exactly. And you, you do indeed 3D print a knife, and they take it away. 
Let's Can see. you just 3D print like a sharpened toothbrush? Oh, a <laughs> Gillette bayonet. <laughs> I 3D oh, printed Gillette bayonet. They come by and take it away. Oh, God. Can I get a marker light there. lightsaber? Is that okay? Is that a what? marker lightsaber? Yeah. Sure. Okay, so. All right, everybody line up. Uh, Kat, get the bag ready. Uh, we're going to we're gonna see what we can with what we got here. To see if we can uh, work out a situation where we can take board, take take this whole ship under our control. Sure. I mean, uh, take this whole ship to the ship wash where we can wash the ship. The, if, the robots appear to be not paying attention to you unless you happen to have a weapon. Or we're going to take the ship and you're going to be the new captain. You're going to need a captain's hat. <laughs> where is this going? <laughs> right? Uh, we'll save the captain's hat for when I'm the captain. Fair. Good, Wait, good are planet. we just printing hats for each other? Yeah, you want I think a hat? we should get matching ball caps. Can I get a fez? I print you a fez. Yes. Oh, okay. Everyone no gets a fez. Cool <laughs> yeah, so it's just 3D printed yeah. straight up. <laughs> yeah, here's the question. What if I think about using my fez as a weapon? I don't think well, that's... They, they aren't reading your mind, so they won't know. Well, now we know Good. there. That, that was the going. test. Now that you have was a, the test. Now you have a fez. Uh, as you are doing this, the toe beeps kind of slink back into the crowd. Oh, shit, they're gone. And uh, and suddenly, you, you all get your fezes, and you get them ready, and you're putting your, your fez on, and uh, whatever other hats you may be putting on, and... Uh, uh, six robots come up to you. Violence is strictly prohibited on this ship. You have behaved unethically and should now be punished. Those Us? fucking tattletales. We, we have been reported that there has been violence on the ship and you are the perpetrators. Please come along peacefully. Oh, they think uh, we wait, were really gem. That's, that's bogus. There's, there's no evidence of violence. We've done nothing. What evidence? What where? We have had it reported to us that you were responsible for violence. Can anyone else corroborate this uh, story? I want to hit them with hypnosis and say, no, you got the wrong guys. It was those ones. And like, okay. Point over you attempt the, to use your like, hypnosis on the robots. Oh, God. It says it's a hypnotizing pulse of energy. Yeah, yeah, it might work. Or it could just fry their circuits and we get more violence. Yeah. That you would know? be actual That's violence. Just double down. That yes. just says hypnotizing yeah. pulse of energy no, that makes any creature with lower it. wisdom suggestible to your commands for one action. Okay, so you use it. What are you telling him? Uh, I'm saying it's those guys. Can I do like a wisdom check to see if I like see where they slunk off to? Sure. Point them out in the crowd. All right. And I get a plus two to this as well. Uh, so that should have been 17. Okay. So you, you see them. They're like way in the back of the crowd uh, staring at the clock, actually. And uh, as you like point them out and you fire off your pulse and the robot, those robots start heading off. And you turn and look and there's more robots coming up to you now. I think that was a bad missed. idea, man. I think we should go with them. Yeah. And they, they, they stick out their, their little robotic claws and they touch you. Ooh. And <clears throat> do, 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 do. Uh, all right. give me one second. Wait up! I actually like did that as a thing. What did you do? All right, there we go. Okay, you all should be on a new map. Let me know if you can see it or not. I oh, see it. yep. So, I don't see little... it. Interesting. Now I gotta like zoom away in because it looks like there's things to see here. Right. It does look look like there's things to see. This is not really accurate. Reminds me of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Ah. Oh, right. bit, yeah. Oh, I mean, your crew has oh. been teleported into a warm cobblestone room with walls covered in thousands of tick marks. This is what happens when you put that in that statement into mid journey. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> 
As you try to regain your balance post teleportation, you see a wrinkled crustacean like man ahead of you. As soon as he notices your presence, a warm smile breaks loose the dry flakes of his crusty face. He lunges forward to shake your hands, only to pause and realize you all don't have hands. Oh, right. Oh, I forgot about the hand thing. Welcome to the brig, roomies. What are you in for? And I will show you a picture of your roomie. If I don't have hands, uh, what do I have? We don't have uh, hands? Nope. Your hands are missing. Uh, you're not bleeding, but your hands are missing. You just right, have, could you stop. print us up some hands? Yeah, I'll I'll like. But how would you? But how would you grab? Why are them? they missing? Now? Are there numbs or like at numbs? Like the, at like, like the wrist, like oh, right. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, it's can gonna be some click, prosthetics. Click on Glugon. Glugon is your roomie, and you'll get an it's idea gonna... of where your hands are missing from. Ah, interesting. I mean, he's got the toes. He could like articulate his toes up there and pull the. Uh. I mean, we've still got mouths. I can just 3D print them and we can use our mouths to put them on. Mm -hmm. Or our, our feet. Yeah, yeah. How are to you attaching them, them again? I 3D print a pirate hook with a, with a socket and then I mm -hmm. pick it up with my mouth and I stick I think you're going to have to give me a wisdom check to see if you can print it to the correct size. This is some some detailed oh, yeah. uh, 3D ass printing that you're going to need to do. Yeah, I got an 11. It's better than what I was expecting. Yeah, it's better than I was expecting as well. Is that taking into account your penalty? Yeah, it would be. Okay. So uh, you, you get a hook. Uh, it, it's uncomfortable is, is a word. Um, uh, you do notice, none of you have to roll for this, that uh, um, Ugin seems to be, uh, or the your roomie, uh, you don't know his name yet, uh, he's kind of giving, giving Jim the eye. Like, hmm. Hmm. Oh, Jim's in here too, even though yep, they Jim's were the victim too. of the violence. Yep. All right, we got to do something about these. I have a this, this, all of this. Uh, are you looking for your hands? Yeah, yeah. yeah supposedly we're violent, so that's why we're here. Yeah, yeah. Lugan kind of walks over to uh, what appears to be a loose brick in the wall, and he uses the nubs of his arms to like wobble it out, and uh, leaves a hole just wide enough for me for most of you to get through. If you want them back, you just got to go through this here tunnel. There's a guard who keeps watch of all the captured hands in the room right over there. Yeah. Uh, if you can get the, the remote hanging on your belt, you can set them free. He smiles at Jem, which she giggles and also coughs. Oh, that's sweet. So is there a reason, like, you can get out but haven't? Oh, oh sure, yeah. Uh, so this here room works like a stasis cube. Uh, you can't die in here. But I've been trapped for like centuries. If I walk out now, I'll just turn to dust. Uh, Jem could keep me company, though. I mean, if she wants. And Jem so what you're saying folds her you arms over her heart. Here. You can't tell if she's flattered or maybe having a heart attack. I'm gonna help this guy out. Hey, both. <laughs> I'm gonna three D print him both. a rose. Okay. All right. Uh, give me, give me that wisdom check to to see if he can. Print from a rose, or print a rose. Either way, yeah. this might be the safest mm. place for a gem for now. True, true. This He's is definitely true. not going to fit 11. through that hole. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just a rose yeah, that you yeah, can give yeah. to. Her. I would recommend yeah, no absolutely. thorns on it, but you know. Yeah. Oh, it's very kind of you, and he like grabs it with his nubby arms and gives it to Gem. I mean, until we can find her another heart. It's not a bad deal. Plus, we get a new dad so, out of the situation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, who yeah. are you all? I mean, a part time dad, at least, you know. Mm. Oh, I'm Ralph. Ralph from Adobe. Mm -hmm. oh. We didn't renew our subscription. Yeah, you may have heard of it. It's the most expensive place to live in the entire galaxy. Is that yeah. so? Hmm. Well, my name's Glugon. I used to be in a gang of pirates. We raided this ship. 
Uh, centuries ago. Uh, we, we found the ship to be really unique once we got on board. And when I say unique, I'm talking billions of credits on the black market. Uh, our incursion was mostly successful, but I was just a bit too slow and got left behind. So here I am, riding in a cell for eternity, while my crewmates got out, set for life. It's gotten I'm, real lonely in here over the years. You're kind of set for life, too. Speaking of which, I mean, uh, yeah. who's the peach in the wheelchair? Oh, that's Jim. Hi, I'm Jim! And she blushes a little bit. You think it's she might be blushing. Uh, it's hard to say. There's not a lot of blood flow that she can muster to her face these days, <laughs> so... Well, fortunately, she can't die in here, right? That's true. That's true. That's but true. once we leave this room, we can die. We can. We just are you, uh, am I to take it you're here because you want a big score? Yes. Yeah. If a uh, new heart is a big score, I know they have those here. They, I don't know if they have them here, but I know you can get them on, on the market. But you know what to get to a lot of money. You got to get the fuel for the ship. Oh. It's on the engine room, way in the lower decks. You gonna need maps before heading down there, or are you gonna get lost in this place? Did you say naps? Maps. Naps are good. Oh, I've taken a lot of naps. So I was saying naps, naps sounded naps. pretty good, good, but right. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, uh, yeah. I, it's been a long time since I was walking the ship, so I don't really know. Uh, How do you know you do, you're gonna turn to dust if you leave? No, because it's a stasis field thing. Yeah, they told me about it when I first tossed me in here. Then after the first couple of centuries, I was like, well, I guess I'm not breaking out anytime soon. Oh, is that all the scratches on the wall? You've been yep. keeping track? Yep. What if they told you that so you wouldn't leave? Yeah. I don't know. Right, because, like, I mean, theoretically, stasis... I do get free food and, you know... It's How not do you even know bad. what a day is in here? Listen... Don't All really. of you need to stop because this is our new father and we don't want to lose him already. You should stick like a little bit of your hand out and see if it turns to oh, dust. Oh, I, I don't need to test that. Uh, yeah, I'm good. What about a Besides, I mean, there's also the, you know, there's the door uh, and he gestures with his arm and there is, in fact, a door with just a doorknob. Uh, but the doorknob looks like it's covered in like it looks slick Why maybe is it saliva -y. It's easy enough to get out if you got hands but if you just got nubbins it's not so easy can't get a grip hmm. I think one of us should crawl through the hole to see if it's safe out there then the rest of us I'll go I first I can do that oh okay I, I have the cat burglar you know what was sneaking True. and stuff? We don't need to sneak. Well, you okay. do have a lot of valuables, by which I mean a sack of cats. That's right. So, and crystals. Really, really I was thinking um, Marvin should go first. Who's Marvin? Oh, that's true. The new guy. That's a good point. <laughs> I, uh, oh, I, yeah, I, sure. Okay. There you go. That's the go get him attitude. That's now, right. <laughs> Welcome to the crew, Marvin. Goodbye, Marvin. Make sure we won't die. We'll Lap him on the, the back and send him through the hole. You gave the Good best luck. shoulder rubs out of all the new guys we've ever had. Great, great, thanks. Mm -hmm. I uh, I hope to stay around to 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 keep doing it. You know, right, right, yeah. Yes. Uh, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Kat, <laughs> after Marvin goes out there and distracts him, you should sneak out there and go get our hands. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, oh uh, shit! You're still I'm here. I'm gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, oh, are good. you uh, crawling through the tunnel? Yeah, I guess so. All right. So you, it's a tight squeeze, but you get through there, and you enter into this room. And this room is cramped with hundreds of disembodied hands chained up along the walls by their wrists, squirming in terror like frantic spiders. In the corner of the room is a three-eyed alien guard who is using a tiny whip to flog these imprisoned hands. She is slowly moving across the back wall to ensure every hand receives its fair share of punishment. I hate that. She just well, yeah. gives him high fives. <laughs> yeah. 
It's the nun from Blues Brothers. I was about to say, no. okay, did, has she noticed me? Uh, no. Nope. Uh, shit. Do you want to give me a, a, a wisdom check to perceive the room, see if there's anything else? What'd you get? Six. Six? Uh, that's, that's all you're noticing for right now. Okay. I guess, um... Uh, what is the stature of this uh, of this alien? Uh, you compared know, to like my lizard person size. Compared to you know a lizard person size, I get I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Um, yeah. Uh, so it's definitely a she. Uh, uh that's obvious. Okay. Uh, she is wearing. It looks like a uniform. But it's it's got a lot of extra. You're not sure if it's leather or pleather, but it's got some extra leather and pleather to it. She's wearing spiky high heels. Okay. Uh, little little. You know. So I'm definitely looking hat. up at her, right? Oh uh, well, you're crawling into the tunnel, so yeah, you're looking up at her. It came in kind of lower to the ground. Fair, um, fair. But she's not like it's not like she'd be that much bigger than you. Like maybe a bit more muscular, but uh, about on on par with the same height kind of thing, okay. roughly. Fair, fair, fair. Okay, sure. Yeah, no, no. I've definitely got the information that I needed to know. Um, so can I can I hear anything that's going on, like the conversation going on behind me, or am I just? I'm just kind of uh, on my own if, now. If, if you would like to roll to see if you can overhear bits of that conversation, go right ahead. That's a wisdom check. Okay. That oh, is a shit. nat 20. All right. You Ooh. definitely hear that whole conversation. <laughs> oh, shit. Are they coming? I don't know. I mean, I am, but I'm coming on the ceiling. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Did you like crawl out and up onto the Dan. ceiling? Yeah. Okay. Did you like okay. squeeze past Marvin to like get up there, or are you waiting for Marvin to exit the the tunnel? The whole. I, I was gonna wait just for like a little bit out there, but. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. I'll definitely. I'll definitely. Uh, <laughs> what I'm gonna do, actually, is I'm gonna crawl out of the tunnel, right? But I'm going to crawl over to where the. Uh, alien dominatrix is and i'm just gonna kneel beside her and just be like it, it just like tap on like the the probably mm -hmm. like the the arm because if i feel like if i like tapped her on the ass i would immediately like get this shit well actually no maybe i shouldn't tap her on the ass i don't know but <laughs> i didn't know we were playing the goblin game tonight <laughs> <laughs> I've I've taken Steven's role, I guess. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. We just needed Ralph to go out feet first. <laughs> That's fine. You just you've right. got this, Marvin. The new Dommy Mommy will take you in. <laughs> <laughs> uh so okay, you, you tap them on the buttocks. Uh all right, and uh as you're doing so, give me another wisdom uh check. And uh um, Kat, you can also give me one. Yep. This is seven. Eh. Okay. Uh, you two both do, like, you see some sort of, like, silver, like, little box with maybe some buttons on it uh, hanging on her belt loop as you touch her on the butt. And she's like, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. what? What are you? What are you doing here? Pardon me. Hi. Yeah. Sorry. No, I Where'd just... Where'd you come um, from? Well, see, there's this thing is I just kind of showed up here one day and I don't actually know why I get like you're how I got here. Hands. Got you're here. from the cell. <laughs> hey, no. Hey, so that's the thing is I saw what you were doing with the hands, right? Like with the with the whip, right? No. And I just wanted to ask very respectfully, very, you know, with the utmost respect uh would you uh would you consider you know maybe ever doing that you know to like uh people and not just hands give me a, a charisma roll <laughs> <laughs> she was like gonna like whip <laughs> now she's thinking oh, about shit, it that's a three. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, i will with people and she'll like 
<laughs> She's gonna give you a whap. Uh, but not in the fun way. Um, <laughs> well, it's just a matter of perspective, I think. But she's going to miss horribly. Uh, so, you know, yay. Good good news for you. Uh, uh, let's say, uh, Kat, how would you like to respond? You, you, you saw this scenario unfold in front of you. Uh, you're up on the ceiling. I really anything? just gotta try and like get around and see if I can just get to the get to the button. Okay, give me a, a dexterity roll. Let's see what you can do. Right. And that would that would be oh, with oh, a, oh, oh, a yeah. plus a plus two as yeah, well. Just, so it's, it's nice. Uh, All right, so yeah, you're able to get over there and, and get the little remote thing. Um. Now, now that you've got, you, so you lifted it. She didn't even notice. Um, and it's got. Now that you're looking at it, you're like, oh, that wasn't a button. It's it's a red knob. And it looks like uh, the combination lock for like a gym locker. Oh jeez. Oh, well, I guess for now I'll just go back into the room with it. <laughs> okay, so you just sneak back into the room. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Right, Run sure. away, Marvin! <laughs> Run away! Right, uh, give give me a dex, another another dex check to sneak back into the room. This is the one that's gonna. Oh, okay, right. no, even better! Ooh. All right, Holy shit. all right, Marvin, you you uh, have seen that Cat has come down, got the remote, like looked at it, kind of shrugged, and then went back in the hole. Uh, and this woman alien, this female alien is whipping uh, she tried whipping you with with her little her little electric whip and she's like get back in your cell how's Martin uh, doing out there <laughs> I mean I guess I just I'll give like an ooh la la and like sprint back towards the hole <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Give me. You don't me sprint me back. You prance back. Prance back. <laughs> yep. Give me a charisma roll. Let's see how how well this pulls off for you. Just with a little bit of flourish. Uh huh. I got that switch going. Uh, that's a seven. Okay, it's not great, but she's like, <laughs> watches you. Put the brick back. <laughs> Which you know, who God does puts right. it back, and as like, you know, your last sight of her, she turns back, smile on her face, she starts whipping hands again. So I've got a chance. There's hope. <laughs> You're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> so there you are, back in your, back in the brig. But now you have this little doodad that you did not have before. Hmm. Well, uh, is anybody good at opening these things? Not yes. without hands. I figure if we all put our nubs together, we can hold it in place. And then the rest of us can use our nubs to try and turn the dial. We would or... need a way to listen to the mechanism. So Wait. we'll have to lay on our side and have one person with the lock on their ear. Marvin, give yes. me a a wisdom ch check. That okay. is an eight. Okay. So you did, now that everyone's kind of talking, you did notice that at least a few of the hands that you're a little bit closer to, you noticed they had numbers tattooed on the wrists. Mm -hmm. And those numbers also appear on the lock, on the little tumbler thing. Wait, so how do we figure out what our hands codes are? Who says you had to take your hands back? That's true. Oh. We could have anybody's oh, so could hands. How many numbers were tattooed on those hands? 
there were hundreds of hands. No, I mean like per hand. Uh, we'll say there was probably, eh, it's a, like a combination lock, so probably three. Like a three digit number? Mm hmm. I will use my toes. All right. To enter code 420. 420. Okay. I've got now, my hands. Okay. So the block is back, so you don't know what your hands look like. Uh, You'd have to go in there and get your hands. Uh, Marvin, do you, you want to go get my hands for me? Sure. <sighs> sure, buddy. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Blue Gun is like, well, you know how to get the, the, the brick out yourselves there. I'm just going to sit here and chat with this young lady right here. Okay. I'll take the brick out there. Okay. Okay. Yes. Give, me a, give me a strength roll uh, to, to get that brick out. Yeah. All right. 13. Hey. Yeah, you're able to wiggle it out. It's not that bad. Uh, you might drop it on the floor a bit unceremoniously, but, you know, you get it out. You know, we should really replace this brick with a brick of the same size, but of a lighter material, so it's easier to take care of. Like a hollow brick, perhaps? Yeah. Maybe with a little handle in it. Like a we 3D oh, to hollow in. brick? Marvin, while you're getting my new hands, one, pick out a number, and I'll get a hands unlocked for you, too. Sure, okay, that works. Cool. Looks yeah. like the numbers are between 1 and 60. Wait, so why can't we just, like, put random numbers in and then, like, I'll just grab whichever ones they are? That's what he's saying, I think. Is it? Okay. Well, maybe <laughs> I'm misinterpreting the situation. No, no, it's I don't know. literally, it, it, it's, it's that stupid. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Is there a zero so, on like, the turn knob thing? Of course. Okay. So we Here's... can do 69. I was going to put in 069. Yes, oh, that's uh, that's it go. exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I was going to ask for that you. one. Oh, okay. Those are for I, I, I you you can put in combinations for whatever hands you want and then you tell me what the hands are that you get. Well, what number do you want for uh, your hands, Marvin? 420. I already got 420. <laughs> Shit. Well, Marvin uh, can have 422. There you go. <laughs> okay, 422. Perfect for the new guy, yeah. So, I'll take okay. 007. 007. Ooh, that's a good, good one. Good, good choice. Damn. Tyler, Joe? Um. 666. Okay, 666 six, six, and 123. Right. Oh, and we need one for Jim. I'm going to put in 455. Five. Actually, can I sneak out and see if I can find my hands? And see <laughs> Absolutely, you can. Yeah, I want to do uh, that. <laughs> give, give me a dex roll. Okay. Uh, just to, since you're trying to sneak out there. Well, there. All right. 13. You sneak out there pretty well. Give me a wisdom get... check. And I am going to start 3D printing this new brick. Uh, it'd be a 13 as well. You're going to need to load up on uh, on material soon, I think. Uh, you've been printing an awful lot for I your have. butt. <laughs> all right. Uh, um, I got a 13 as well for the... Because right. I got a plus two to yep. perception. All right, Gilroy. You do, in fact, find your specific hands. It's a... Uh, Three, two, twenty-three. Okay. I'll uh, tell them that number. Okay. When I, get back. I put in three, two, four. <laughs> All right. Set. Nobody went with one, two, three. Fair. Joe initially went with one. Joe two, three. wanted one, two, three initially, and then changed his That's mind. True. I did. Yeah. yeah. This is an extra set of hands. Uh. All right, who's going in there to collect them? Is that Marvin? Yep. 
All right, Marvin. What do the set of hands that you unlocked? What do they look like? Are they lizard people hands? Are they other kinds of hands? Other kinds of other kinds of hands. No, you know what? You know what are I they, could really go for. Are they long and dexterous, big and the, girthy. Like, koala <laughs> claws. Koala Ooh. claws. Okay. Yeah. You don't want sloth hands. Actually, sloth hands are terrifying. Dan yes, has a point. Mm -hmm. I would like sloth hands, please. Okay, you have sloth hands. Yes. Uh, just note that down on your character in like inventory or whatever that you have sloth hands. I guess Can you massage with those? What's that? <laughs> Actually, it's, that's uh, a good point. It's an acne pressure massage now. Yeah, there you go. Acne ac pressure. Whole new meaning to that deep tissue massage. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, directly. Okay. Uh, all right, so you, you go in, and there is a variety of hands that are kind of now scarpering about inside this room. They're just skittering about like a bunch of things from the Adams family. Uh, and they're just, are you like ushering them over to you? Yeah, I'm going to try and like, oh, wait. Oh, I, I was going to say, I just had a sudden recollection of a Futurama episode. And I was like, I I need to have the robot devil's hands. <laughs> That's actually what I was going to give Tyler. So, yeah. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Robo devil hands. Fuck yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, so uh, you are able to get your hands. Uh, tell me what what each of your hands, uh, if if you got your originals back or if you uh, got different hands, uh, what do they look like? Uh, I want hands with tentacle fingers. Aww. Done. How long are they? <laughs> like three feet. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> They're almost longer than your actual arms. Is uh -huh. that what you <laughs> okay? Reminds me of Joe. Wait, yeah, Joe, my monk. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah, tentacle arms, monk, tentacle arm, monk. Yeah. I was very confused. Like, last time I saw Joe, he had regular fingers, not tentacle fingers. <laughs> That's what you think you saw. <laughs> I've never seen Joe's fingers, I don't think. Uh, I'm Joe, curious. why don't you hold your hand up? <laughs> I can't do that. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chuck. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> Daisies. Oh. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, Jake, what, what, what hands do you get? Crocodile hands. Crocodile hands. All right. So they're they're bigger and scalier. Or are they tiny? No, they're about the size of a regular crocodile's front fingies okay all right i like it cat what about you assuming okay. it's not actually going somewhere else i do want the, the robot devil hands because it just is funny sounding fair. fair you can have robot devil hands but i want the clamps <gasps> the yeah clamps. that was the other option i thought of was give them the yeah. clamps <laughs> yep tyler are you going with the clamps and dan's got the robot and the clamps hands. onto my nubs yep all right yeah fair and then, Joe, are you getting back your originals? Um, I feel like because the number was wrong, <laughs> uh, no. And okay. I'm thinking I get, like, gecko hands. Oh. Gecko hands? Okay. I like it. Yeah. I like it. All right. So you have you all have grippers back. You all got your grippers. And not just the ones on your feet. <laughs> Should we get new hands for these two? Yeah. For these two? Yeah. Actually, you probably uh, did unlock uh, enough extra ones. So Just to yeah. be safe, I'm going to unlock like seven more sets of hands. Okay. So sure. and Wait, actually, as you like look through the hole, you can see the guards running around trying to like whip at them with her little with her little whip, uh, trying to chase them around in the room as they're just starting around. Did but you see this lady? Can I join the fray? Sure. And be like prancing around the room too? <laughs> sure. Is there an end goal with this in mind? No, I just wanted to join the commotion. Okay. 
Okay. Maybe I, up my chances, you know? Maybe up your chances. That's fair. That's fair. I don't want to step on Marvin's yeah. toes now. I was going to go around there crawling around on my hands and knees. <laughs> hey, no, new come guy. on, dude. New guy, I'm what's in... your armor class? What's your AC? Uh, um, uh, nine. All right, so you catch a, uh, you, you catch a, a, a slap of the, of the, uh, of the whip <laughs> for two points of damage. And there you go. They call like, this Get back at your cell! In a guane I can't... Oh, no. A menage oh, no. But we're lizards. Oh, and it's with what? a bunch of hands. <laughs> mm. I'll throw some hands back through the the, the <laughs> hole, though. Are you, are you throwing hands? Is that what's going on? Yeah, they just need a bunch yes. of hands in there, because if these two, you know, elderly folks, I mean, they're going to get handsy. Let's make sure they got enough to get handsy. Right. I'm let's grabbing them, a couple let's extra Let's give them pairs. young people hands. <gasps> let's yeah. give them young oh, people there hands. There we go. They're extra handsy. Get that extra dexterity and strength. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Get rid of those arthritic hands. Yeah, but oh, they're man, lacking in experience, so. I'm going to grab a couple well, extra pairs. It better not pairs be my hands. Because I need to be armed. <laughs> Your pure version hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. So, uh, you are able to get uh, nice, youthful hands for Jem and Glugon. And uh, there is a door with a knob. We have hands, hands like my doors. Could I get some hands now that would allow me to more easily open doorknobs? I got like clamps. Just, Those are pretty like good. Just more normal hands. <laughs> sure. Oh, you want backup hands? No, no, just normal hands. Do these yeah, hands can attach? Can I replace? Yeah, can I replace my hands now, or are these my hands now? You can probably, as long as you're like within proximity to the room with the hands, you can, you can swap the hands. Once you leave the brig, you'll not, you'll no longer be able to swap hands. What happens if I try to swap my feet for hands? Can we attach extra hands? Sure. I want to find my original hands. And are you, you, you going to go in there with the lady with the whip? Yes. Okay. Are you sneaking in there? I will attempt to. Okay. I want to put some extra Ooh. hands on so my knees. Seems. That way I have hey. hand knees. Uh, she appears to not notice you as you're looking through. Give me, give me a wisdom roll to see if you can spot your specific hands. Sweet. <laughs> oh, you don't uh, see them. Eight. There's so many. There's literally hundreds of hands in here. Dang it. I'll try and find the closest ones, and I'm okay. still going to make them my feet. <laughs> we can put okay. extra hands on our chest and have hand nipples. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't want to go that Good. crazy. I what about on your elbows? Hand bows? Nice. I want right. on my knees because I want hand knees. Knees and elbows. Knees and toes, knees and toes. Yeah, yeah. Hands for your toes. <gasps> so, yes, Joe, you are able to find a similar enough uh, pair of hands uh, to to replace your feet with hands. It's not awesome. the most comfortable to walk on hands because, you know, yeah. feet are designed for one thing, hands are designed for another, but yeah, it'll work. I'll get used to it. Can yeah. I go find It'll Joe's be worth the benefit. original hands? If you'd like. Are you going to sneak past the guard? And Yes. Okay, give me that. <laughs> give me a dex check. I got a three. You! Oh, <laughs> she no. comes oh. over with the whip. Hello! Get back into your cell! But she misses. Terribly. <clears throat> I want to Benny Hill, Hill this situation until I can find <laughs> Joe's original hands. Uh, you can you can take your action to look for his hands. I do. Okay. Do I find them? Uh, give me a wisdom roll. 
I got a three. I did. Somebody must have eaten them. Oh no! I grab. Somebody a set of had hands, the hunger that I had only hands could satisfy. Okay. I like here, Joe. So. I found your original hands. Oh shit! Lollygaggers. <laughs> Lollygaggers. Oh, Lolly nice. Thanks for that Hell raid. Yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. You're going to be so excited to watch this. <laughs> so, yes, uh, Chuck, you escape back into the cell or mm -hmm. into the brig with an extra pair of hands that may or may not look anything like I hope they uh, don't. Gilroy's original hands. Really they hope they really don't. don't. Yeah, they really don't. I found your original uh, these hands. Are, uh, these thanks. clearly belong to, like, some sort of human type being. They're pink, not scaly. It's terrible. But yes, you have uh, many hands attached to you now. Would you like to go through the door? Yes. I'm going to take this last pair of hands and attach them to my butt. And that way I can really make my cheeks clap. <laughs> it's also for getting things out of your 3D ass printer. Uh-huh. Yeah, that even actually faster. would be somewhat functional. You, you could even print directly into your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I need a symbol, but I don't know how big it should be. <laughs> All right. Who's opening the door? I shall open the door. First, no, first I'll, I'll grow a full grown beard. Then I will open the door. All right. So you grab the knob and it's it's wet. It's kind of slimy. It's like you're grabbing a knob that's covered in saliva. Like something's been drooling on it for forever. Gross. And you open the door. And there's just a silvery wall behind it. And Glugan's like, eh, step through and you'll be teleported back into the lobby. Just a portal. You're fine. Okay, I'll step through. I'm going to stay here with, with this lovely man. Jem said, tells you. All right. Don't have too much fun. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe invite the lady from the other side of the brick. <laughs> and if you do, we don't want to hear anything about it. Nothing. Please. So are you... Bye. <laughs> All right. Y'all piling through the... Uh, through this wall? I think so. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, little box text. Your body is pulled through an expansive void. As you are phasing back into the lobby, you hear a short, muffled arrangement of bells. Sound on an intercom. Doo, doo, doo. Hello, animals. This is your captain speaking. I know you're probably still in great shock after experiencing the horrible demise of your home. Irregardless, please make sure to wipe its muddy remains off your shoes before stepping on the rugs. Now, before we take off, I must ask passengers who refrain from loitering in areas of the ship where you are not welcome. The SSOS offers not only salvation, but a wonderful assortment of relaxing amenities that are sure to make your journey as painless as possible. So go play a round of shuffleboard, watch a show at the procedurally generated theater, and remember, mm. our motto here on the SSOS is you can't spell refugee without fug which, when translated from the dialect of the people of Hornox, means fun. Welcome aboard the SSOS. And wow, you know, what a fucking great speech that was. <laughs> well, yeah, it was. Uh, I have to put that one in the dictionary for later. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to the basement, right? No, you're the lobby. No, that's where, where, where you go. originally came in. Yeah, you go steal the fuel the from the basement. basement. Uh, uh, right, so right, there right. is. Uh, let me just. What we should do is we should find the those the guy with the weird uh, nipples and his cohorts yeah. with creepy eyes and the. I feel the like guy. they snitched us out to the robots the first time. Maybe we should stay those, away from them. Those we should snitch maybe, them out. maybe we should yeah report them for violence. You're not even sure where they'd be right now. All right. So you are in the lobby, uh, basically uh, ahead of you. So there's hallways to your right and your left. There's also a hallway straight ahead. 
Behind you, there is a staircase. Uh, you can see that there are doors. Uh, there's, Like I said, there's a hallway straight ahead. There's a door at the end of that hallway. There's also uh, hallways going this way. Uh, but down that straight ahead hallway, there are also two doors left and right. This is an easy answer. Is there a is there a big sign that says you are here anywhere? Uh, there's Apple? not. Are you? But if you're looking around this place, um, so we'll we'll description as you phase back in the lobby in the time that you were gone, uh, the Adobians have dispersed across the ship, uh, and it looks that you now have a much uh, clearer look uh, at the uh, at the lobby. Uh, everyone can give me wisdom checks. Just a general perception. Let's see what you all see. Uh, 21. Okay. Uh, I need to clean my glasses, apparently, because I can't see shit. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so Joe, uh, mm -hmm. or Gilroy, you see a mustached uh, Adobian man uh, looks like he's pushed together some crates and various sized luggage into kind of like a small shack uh, formation, and it appears he's selling items out of this little shop stall, basically, that he's cobbled together. I'll look around and make sure that's not Jake. Then... <laughs> it is <Okay>. not Jake. <laughs> okay. It Appreciate. is not the con man. Uh, <laughs> Cat, you notice in the... Mm -hmm. uh, well, as I said, the southern end of the room, there is a red carpeted staircase surrounded by a velvet rope uh, that leads up to a pair of double doors. Uh, let's see here. Marvin. Uh, you see that uh, the hallways that connect uh, to the other half of the ship uh, are currently carded by uh, like eight robots uh, that are turning guests away from entering. Wait, what? Hey, have anyone have any any one of these directions that we want to go more than another? I'm curious what the guy's selling. I'm curious what the yeah. robots are guarding. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Gilroy, we'll go to you with the uh, gift shop since that's probably the closest thing. Um, okay. So this pop-up shop, and let me share with you a, a picture of the shop owner. And you're going to want to click on Jif Bop. Um, huh. Um, <laughs> number seven. <laughs> Not sure what to make of that guy. Hmm. This feels Check deliberate. That <laughs> oh, it's definitely deliberate. Oh, no, like no, no. What kind of gifts is that guy selling? So, you may need to <laughs> this, get something for Jim. <laughs> this pop-up shop has a banner made of various ripped fabric strung across it that read, Jif Bop's Gift Shop. The stand is full of hastily crafted knickknacks themed around the, the ship itself, from the SSOS snow globes made out of broken glass bottles to old t-shirts with the ship's name spray-painted over them. Amongst the junk, you notice a pile of fire escape plans that seem to have been unscrewed from the lobby's walls. There is a map of every deck. Ooh. Well, you said he's selling that? He's selling them. Oh, no. Oh, we've got, you know, some things. Um. Uh. I'll, I'll approach him and say, I've got a game for him. If you can guess how many toes I have. <laughs> and, uh. I'll buy the map, and if you can't, then I get it for free. Give me a charisma roll. All right. Damn it. Uh, no deal. Uh, uh, you know, I, I appreciate your salt, uh, youngster, but, uh, you know, I, uh, nope, uh, I know a con when I see one. Smell him. Damn it. But um, I am willing um, to trade. Can I... That's for sure. Oh, go ahead. 
I, I no, I was gonna ask. Uh, it, if I see Gilroy striking out, can I go over to the con man and try and convince him? Be like, hey, buddy. Like, set my set my little sloth hands on his shoulders. <laughs> hey, pal. Maybe you should go try. Come on, I'm, he's got. Me, he's got. Okay, me. just get your hands off me. <laughs> I, I want to try first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well. Uh, Tyler, Actually, yeah. I have a much better idea. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll reconnoiter with Gilroy, and uh, so they have maps of this place, do they? I was making noises. Tyler, I am making, making noises. noises. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna walk up to Jeff Bop. Uh, Joe's still standing there, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. I, I'm gonna walk up to Jeff Bop and say, uh, I think you're gonna, you're gonna take my uh, friend's deal here, and I'm gonna start clamping my clamps as an attempt to intimidate. You're going to try to intimidate him with mm-hmm. the clamps? All right. Yeah. So give me a charisma roll. I get a plus Check two it. because of my skill intimidation. Uh, what'd you get? Uh, 13. 13. Let me check this stuff real quick. Or plus two charisma it's because of intimidation. Room. Sorry, so 15 total, two? I guess. He is not intimidated. Jif Bop oh, is fuck. solid as a rock. All right. Uh, well, I need. To I give up. I don't like that terminology. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't either. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn it. Should have opened up with the baby oil. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's you know funny, what? I'm going to look around the... Um, how far away from the lobby is the gift shop? I put it's right in the lobby. The oh, okay. In that case, I'm gonna just look around and see if there's somebody who right looks particularly <laughs> smiley, waving around some wine, maybe a little drunk, having fun here. Or okay. I'm sorry, having fun here. That's right. And then I'm going to try to pick that person's pockets. Okay, sure. With my Mind creepy me, crocodile hand. Oh, With your creepy crocodile hand. <laughs> Chuck, what the fuck were you saying? Yeah, to it. our raiders, if you're if you're still hanging out here with us, uh, they did all indeed, most of them swap hands uh, because that's what you do. I yep. put the sticker for feet up on the thing and it like it framed your face like perfectly. <laughs> mm. Get your fucking grippers away from my face. Now they're on my face. Ooh. I mean, we could just ask him what he wants. For the map. Oh, we don't That's have any money. That's straightforward. Yeah, well, come I mean, on. We could just, I've stolen some stuff. I could give him some stolen stuff for some other stolen stuff and then steal some more stuff later. We could have uh, Chuck 3D print him anything so, he desired. So here's some yeah. things that Jif Bop has in his shop. He's got the fire escape plans. There's the snow globe I described to you. There's the SSOS t-shirts and hats. There's a disembodied Adobe and tail. There's a model of the SSOS. There's some sort of like box with a red blinking light. There's a duffel bag, a grappling hook, some loose bolts and screws. Uh, Looks like he's got some music chips for like a music chip player. And a variety of stolen luggage that has any number of wonderful things possibly in it. Mm, Mystery box. I want all of this stuff. Could even be a boat. Listen, you've all tried to convince him. I haven't. Do you want to try or do you want me to get the job done? Yeah, go ahead. I was just going to ask him what he wants. I cartwheel over there. Okay. Oh no. What? What do I want for the maps? Uh, you know what I'd like? You know what I'd like? I want my plant back. I had a special plant. And, uh, and, and she's gone missing. Her name's Jessica. And, and she's an adobe implant and she has great sentimental value to me. It was the last crop to survive Duddle Paw's attack uh, on my farm. So uh, I named it Jessica after my dead wife. And uh, 
well, I'd, I'd really like to have her back. I want to see if they're lying with one of my skills. Sure, absolutely. I get advantage. Uh, is that charisma? Uh, this would be wisdom. Wisdom? Okay. Sweet. Uh, there we go. 20. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's telling the truth. That okay. is what he wants in exchange for the map. I think that's probably Damn doable. It, that's sad. I I mean I I came here, I had her with me, but I don't know where she's gotten to. I mean, if I had to take a guess, it probably got stolen. It'd be. Like everything else. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't me though. I don't know. I don't know. Hey there, Captain. I just want I just want Jessica back. Hey, Captain. But if you can get me back, Jessica, I'll give you the maps. How much for the suitcase of mysterious things? Hmm. Hmm. Suitcase of mysterious things? Could be nothing. Or something. He's thinking and he looks up. He's pulling out his mustache and he's like, those crystals up there, they're real nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trade me, if you can get me some of those crystals, I give you the suitcase. I'll go steal more of them so I don't actually <laughs> have to give up mine. Sure, sure. Give me uh... This time I'll like go, you know, around the ceiling. Okay, give me give me a dexterity roll. All right. And then Chuck can swoop in with his feet and careless whisper playing in the background. Can I, uh, <laughs> can I try to assist him by like looking for a path for him? Sure. And that'd be a 16. All right. Yeah, no problem. You get up there, you get some crystals, come back down. It's like, ah, pretty good, pretty good. So then he trades you a, a piece of luggage. Now, you can put the luggage in your, you have like a baggage slot on your character sheet in the inventory. Mm -hmm. um, and the luggage will add like, I think three extra uh, inventory slots. But the drawback is that when you're lugging it around, it does make you roll dexterity checks at disadvantage uh, because it's a piece of luggage. So, uh, mm -hmm. but what's inside is there are some floral shirts, some toiletries, uh, a bottle of pills, a med kit, and uh, an ID card for someone named Wanderson J. Nickelwaters. Okay. Uh, I'm taking uh, a Hawaiian shirt and putting it on. Hey, okay. I, 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 I. <laughs> you gotta ask first. Can I take a Hawaiian like, shirt? Only if there's enough left, because I'm putting one on first. Okay. There I'll are several this... Hawaiian shirts. Okay. At least we can all match with our fezzes and our Hawaiian shirts. I mean, 3D printed fezzes. Uh huh. <laughs> Pointy 3D fezzes. Because I can imagine the tassel on that is really good as a 3D printed tassel could be. It's a true family vacation. We're all yeah. dressed the same. It is. It is. It is. Oh, uh, man. The real problem is, I don't remember all the things you told me already. Uh, floral shirts, toiletries, so shampoo, soap, etc. Uh, a bottle of pills. If you look on the label, uh, they appear to be uh, anxiety medication. Uh, a package. <laughs> of, uh, there's a med kit and then the ID card for Wanderson J. Nickel Waters. Okay. Maybe we could use some of this stuff. Maybe we can't. Maybe we'll never should know. keep his ID in case we get falsely accused again. That's right. That's true. That's not a bad idea. Gilroy, you should read his mind with your powers to see what this plant looks like. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I can do that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'll go up to him and... Like, I think it's got green on it somewhere, right? Uh, 
I'm getting the sense it grows in like some earthy substance. I'm just gonna like, like give a whole bunch of like leading <laughs> yeah. questions like that until yeah. he like. I'm seeing the letter A. Does that mean it. anything? <laughs> the letter B. Yeah. The letter C. I think it's a name that starts with a J. H. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna like say a bunch of things like that until he like describes the plant to me. So there are some other doors, but I know some of you were uh, curious about the the security at the the hallways. Real quick. Yes. Yes. I want to try and seduce him with my feet for that red blinking box. Okay. I cartwheel over them, over there, put my feet up in the air, use my extra hands to Vanna White my feet, and I use my feet like puppets and say, hey there, sailor. Vanna White your feet? What? Vanna. You gotta, you know. Wheel of Fortune. Vanna White. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't understand. The, the lady that walks around in the dress and she. I know like, who it is. Yeah, I, right. I don't understand the, it as a verb. It, it's the showing. The showing. Yeah. Oh, okay. the, the, you know. Okay. To Vanna White is, is to do the Vanna White show. Okay. Learn something every day. You do. Yeah. You do. So, uh,. Give me a give me a charisma roll there, Chuck. Yeah. With your with your seductive feet. I got a twenty-two. Alright. Like, oh. I think you that's know, a nat I, twenty. Yes. I tell you what, I, I do want to help you out. And ordinarily I I would hang on to it. It it means something. But uh tell you what. And I think you're gonna like this. I think you're gonna like this. You find someone that loves this mixtape of mine and he hands you a music chip that's willing to trade you something real good for that and I will give you this here box of the blinky light a blinky light yeah okay wouldn't be that hard depends on what's on the mixtape <laughs> do I have a way to play it do any of you have a music player? A oh, stopwatch. Maybe you'll have to find one. I can make one. Is it gonna I work though? No. I don't think you can 3D no. print it. <laughs> All right. You can make the housing. I will tuck that into my blazer's breast pocket. Now, did you remove your your original clothing to put on the blazer yet? No, I just put it on okay. over. Okay. No, still no pants. Yeah, that's fine. You're doing good, but we're a little concerned about the feet, Sonny. What's with the feet? Who are you talking that's... to? You. Why? You're wearing my essence. Oh, the clothes are talking to me. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> Guys, I don't know yeah. if you all know this, but my clothes talk to me now. Uh, Have they always not wearing some of them? No, no, no. Okay. They tell me when secrets. When did that start? Uh, when the floor seduced me. Okay. I think that was the other way around. Fact, actually, the but... floor is still here. And the, the sign is still there. Huh? And the wide rack is still there. Did Ralph get a concussion? Is he... what? I think he got several concussions over the course of about four or five years. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Uh, so just so you know, my clothes are going to help us. Are they... Yes. Do they anyway. know this? <laughs> we got a choice to make on which way, and I say always left. Do I need to get some stuff on my clothes so they talk to? Yeah, let's go on the floor together. No, you can just go over there and bring it back. 
It doesn't work like that. Does it? It's very shaky. <laughs> That's all. Stand near it, and when it's shaky, you can just throw it at me. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So you go. You step on the on the floor. Oh, <laughs> welcome back, Daddy. I slap it with nope. my extra hands. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more. <laughs> I grab a bottle of ghost juice. Oh, give me a deck save. <laughs> I got a seven this time. All right. Uh, he, he's dropping it. Is someone else going to try to uh, do a dex check to try to catch it before it drops? Unfortunately, uh, yes. That means I'm going to have to get on the floor. Well, give, give me a deck save. <laughs> oh, no. So oh, it, not only it's still do you a land, nine. I'll go for it. It's a too. nine. Uh, okay. <laughs> can, can I die for it? <laughs> Is this still balancing? We're, it's going right. to be just a dog pile. All of us are on. Okay. Yeah. Are, are you jumping in, um, Marvin? Who got the twenty? Marvin, Marvin, coming through. The new guy right. saving us. Marvin, Those extra you long sloth to fingers. Snatch <laughs> it. Snatch the bottle right before it hits the ground, and not. And you land on top of the other two as they both slam into the floor, and the floor just moans ecstatically and vibrates violently <laughs> uh, in the throes of passion. Uh, oh. It's for you. It's like one of those vibrating bed things. Um, it's wonderful. Uh, very Stop. relaxing massage. And uh, oh, since stop. we've got all those extra hands, it's like magic fingers. Yeah, oh, like yeah. the massage <laughs> chairs, the magic finger massage chairs. I'm gonna go up to a rich guy, and I'm gonna point out the commotion on the on the horny floor. I'm gonna say, "Check this out. This is hot over here." And while he's checking it out, I'm gonna pick his pockets. You notice that as you're like picking his pockets, he's standing outside of a room uh, down that straight hallway. You saw those two doors and then there's a door at the end. So at the end, now that you're a little closer, you can see above the door at the end, it says procedurally generated theater. The other door says lounge. And then the other door uh, says infinite buffet. Mm. Hmm. Does it sound mm. like poison? What do I get Still out of the rich guy's face. pocket? Nice. What can I get out of the rich man's pocket by fishing around in there? No, oh, you get uh, what would be something valuable that you think would be in his pockets? Money. Okay, you got money. I'm going to go to the gift shop and say, hello, sir, I have some money. I would like to purchase one of your fine maps. Yeah, it's no good planet doesn't really exist anymore <laughs> I hate Steven's you Steven's here <laughs> hi Steven hey Steven Steven will regret not being in this game Steven will <laughs> we were just all laying around on a horny floor yep but I still gotta like ectoplasm myself now so you should just try drinking some of it hmm Holy shit, stick, Steven. Thank you. So yeah, that's that's where you're at. Uh, Dan, do you just want to break a bottle on yourself? Sure. All right. Again, the floor is very turned on by what you're doing. Uh, oh, I don't oh, want to be on the floor anymore. Cover. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't run away. Oh, God, don't leave me. Oh, I'm so close. <laughs> I'm going to get some cigarettes. I hate to see you leave, but back. I love to watch you walk on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you dousing your? Are you drinking it, or are you dousing yourself with it? Uh, we'll, we'll start by pouring yeah. a little on, now, and then we'll decide if you, we're going to drink the rest. Now, as you're looking at it, you do see that this bottle it does not, in fact, contain wine, but the distilled, liquefied spirit of a person. Okay, I'm just making that, sure you're. It, does it say, you know, like, what kind? Uh, it doesn't say what kind. It just has a name. It's uh, 
It's O de Steven. <laughs> oh, well then. You know. <laughs> Way better than what I would have done. <laughs> Creme de la Steven. Creme de la Steven. <laughs> Creme de la oh, excuse me, it's on the corners of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh. uh, Dan, what is your character's alignment? Uh, I did um, chaotic neutral. Okay. I again. I am. Uh, a, I am a stealer. But yes, much, all. much like, uh, much like Ralph, you hear. You know, it stains your clothing, and and you hear in your in your ear whispers of, settle down. Get a job. Not so many cats. Only old spinsters have cats. You should have a respectable job. You know, follow the rules and and do what's properly expected of you by society. That's maybe, that's really what you should be doing. Maybe so we can get some variety. Maybe I'll do a neutral evil. <laughs> sure. Oh, you should give to charity. Just give it all away. Why hoard it for yourself? Just you know, and you know, it, it, who cares if it follows the rules or doesn't follow the rules? Just do your thing, but be happy. Make other people happy. Bring joy into the world. Be the light that other people like. Yeah. <laughs> Take off one Hawaiian shirt. All right. Yep. And it stops. Uh, you then put the on another and... Hawaiian shirt. All right. You're good. You're good. Can I put that Hawaiian shirt on over my business jacket? You certainly may. Now you have two voices whispering in your ears different things. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love it. I am going to give you probably just a minus one to like wisdom checks because you're having to actively tune out two different voices oh, chattering at you the that's entire fantastic. time. Uh, he really is becoming a dad. <laughs> anyway, so, anyway, my um, shirts are telling us that we should go through the left door. The left door that would be, I believe, the infinite buffet. Yep. <gasps> oh, even better. Ooh. You want to go yeah. to the infinite buffet? I wonder if they've got cottage cheese. Okay. I don't have I mean, a, a separate buffet. map for the infinite buffet. How dare! I wouldn't but, trust. But you go in, and uh, it's a cafeteria-sized room full of delicious smells so strong, you can almost taste them in the air. Colorful meals are stockpiled on a conveyor belt that is pulling food all the way around the room. The belt begins its journey from behind a cutout kitchen window and ends beside the front door. As the dishes reach this end, they are teleported back to the start in an infinite loop. If you would like to, uh, you can survey the room, you can sample from the infinite buffet, and there's a random table to roll on to see what kind of food you grab. I want to grab some food. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely? Okay. Yes. All right. Do so, we get to pick the food, or is it just like there's random food? It's going to be random food. Let me just okay. see if I can That's... make this. Uh, all right. Uh, I think you should all be observers for this. So if you go on the random uh, food effects you sh in the uh, rollable table tab, oh, nice. I think you should be able to just roll it from there. Da, 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 da. Oh, there we go. We're all in here now? Yep. So, Marvin, you got the loud voice baguette. Uh, it makes your voice super loud for 20 minutes. Oh, God, that's horrible. <laughs> cool. Uh, cat. Uh, God, I have to catch up. <laughs> All right. So, Cat, you got the new skill chowder. Uh, you get a new made up skill that you can roll for uh, whenever it's applicable. So, go ahead and make up another skill. Oh, my gosh. I think I got the best one. All right, uh, the con man. Uh, you get Radio Kiwi. It's a fruit that connects your brain to a random radio station in the universe for 10 minutes. Nice. What is the station? You know what? Uh, I'm going to ask an AI about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, 
Gilroy, uh, you have shock grapes. Grapes that cause any facial hair or peach fuzz to tingle. The hairier you are, the more painful the effect. Oh, great. <laughs> How long does that last? Uh, just as long as you're eating them. So, you know. Uh, okay. Tyler, you uh -huh. got the blue eye pie. Pie that narrows your vision to only be able to see blue things for 20 minutes. Nice. If you're eating your pie and you're like, blue. And Ralph, uh, yeah. Ralph, you got the sad pair. I did. A pair that makes you experience every stage of a bad breakup as it travels down oh, your body. By the time you digest it, you feel like a stronger person. No, oh, cause. <laughs> oh. Where did you leave me? You can always go for seconds. Oh, you know what? Since since I I did uh, I did get the the devil's robot devil's hands. Maybe I need to get myself a, a holophoner. Yeah, you go. <laughs> that way I can play careless whisper for for Ralph <laughs> there or you go. sexy like sax it. man. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna go back for seconds as well. <laughs> All right, sure. go for it. That was Roll tasty. On the table. Apparently, uh, my brain is connected to radio serendipity with uh, host Jester Jasper. Ooh, lovely. Uh, you also got the note, the new skill chowder there, Gilroy. You get to oh. have another made-up skill. Sweet. Anyone else going for seconds? Louder, April. Wait. I'm good! <laughs> You know, I'll eat something else to see if I can't turn the radio off. <laughs> sure. Or it'll just combine effects. Who knows? Yeah. I'm not going for seconds. You got sweat armor curry there, the con man. When you eat the curry, you sweat profusely until the sweat eventually hardens into a thin protective shell that extends your hit points by five until this extra HP is lost. Neat. <laughs> And All fucking right. disgusting. <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and, and dip in for seconds here. I can imagine how bad that would reek. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kat, you have also chosen a radio <laughs> kiwi. Uh, feel free to invent what random radio station in the universe you listen to for 10 minutes. Well, everyone else is getting seconds. I might as well, too. You've already gone. Mm. You've emerged a stronger person. So Who, me? Yeah. No, I only ate the sad pear. You had this. You ate the sad pear, and you feel like a stronger person at the end. Oh, I was going at be the sad end of your bad breakup. Okay. What does that do to my strength? Nothing. Okay. Cool. You yeah, just feel seconds. better about yourself. I need to treat myself with symmetry pudding. Makes your face perfectly symmetrical on both sides, giving it an unnatural appearance. Minus one to charisma. Oh no. <laughs> I like it. Um, I'll roll once more on the table. Sure, sure. I feel like that would be a. You also plus get a new skill Christmas. there, oh. Tyler. Uh, we're supposed to ask chat for radio station. What radio station, chat? Mm. Uh, now that my face is perfectly symmetrical, I mysteriously look like Tom Cruise. Yeah, with your symmetrical center tooth. That's it, exactly. <laughs> I'm telling you, want viewers, go look at pictures of Tom Cruise. He's got a tooth in the center of his fucking mouth. I don't know. I'm a little concerned. I feel like I gotta go see this, too. I thought that was just common uh, Tom Cruise lore. So there's right. not a lot of people in the Infinite Buffet besides yourselves, but there are a few other people. Um... And when, Are there any plants in here, like decorative yeah, plants? Uh, give me a perception check. All right, he's dim. Dang. Okay, you don't see a plant, but you do see uh, someone that seems kind of out of place in here. Um, there's a thin man in a cape, uh, not so stealthily loading a laser rifle while scarfing down a plate of spaghetti. You don't know where he got the spaghetti from. 
Maybe it's on the conveyor belt. <laughs> the room is currently void of robots who can arrest him for carrying a weapon. And uh, let me just share with you what he looks like. Uh, you're going to be looking for Soup the Assassin. Uh -huh. I've, I've decided on the bad radio station. Yeah? It's B&B &B Radio. Burps and belches covers oh, of all the top classics. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah. That's what you got going on in here. So, fellas, there's a guy over there with a gun. Like a gun and spaghetti. Gun, gun. I don't know where he go. I don't know where he got Andrew. I want spaghetti. I don't know. Ever since I Ooh, heard that song one nice. song about spaghetti, I always like spaghetti. Or it's all like, I like my mom's spaghetti. That's right. And my knees are sweaty. And I drink from a that's Yeti. That's how it goes. There's drink from a Yeti. There's vomit mom's spaghetti already. Mom's spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spaghetti. I watched a movie yeah. starring Lena Hetty. What? That's not a real name. I was making that up. That one with the hairy Yeti. Mm. John, are you finally ready? Yeah, I'm ready for what? What do you uh, want to do? It was it the rhyme. It was the rhyme. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. I will go <laughs> talk to Soup the Assassin. Sure. Yeah. He's like... The Supinator. Yeah. Can I, can Just in I case he you? wants to kill me later, I'll grow um, Abraham Lincoln sideburns. Nice. Yeah. Hello. And he's just my he, young yeah. friend. Hey. I can't help but notice you have spaghetti. Yeah. How? He was on the conveyor belt. What the shit sticks? I don't know. Figure out where the kitchen is. Go ask them. All right, thank you. And then I will go to find the kitchen. <laughs> okay. He continues, like, fiddling with his laser rifle. But kind of, like, not in, like, a really ambitious way. He's just kind of like, meh, kind of. Meh. Like, he doesn't care. He's just taking his time. Puttering around. Are so, any um, of the robots, like, in the area? That... Nope. There are no ro robots in here currently. Ooh. Because you have to have a knife to cut your steak. Mm. I mean, there's, you know, the conveyor belt and the window and yeah. So, so this is the murder room. I mean, if we want to try that theory, I could try and 3D print another boomerang. Yeah, it's true. I'll hop up on the table and print out a boomerang. I'm glad that you hop up on the table to do it. Like, you could just do it where you're at. But no, no. Gotta make it a seat. Well, I gotta have room for those extra hands back there now. That's true. That's true. Do, do your hands get bored and play patty cake? <laughs> uh... Do you twiddle your butt thumbs? <laughs> Yes. So, yes. so Mr. So Mr. Gunman, sir, what um how how did you get the gun? You just I mean there are robots this. here. Yeah, you avoid the robots, uh the the uh there's a gang in the theater. You might be able to get guns from them. That's who I got the gun from. We can we, we just get guns from a gang and uh -huh. presumably take over the ship. I don't know about that, but look, I got I got a person to kill, so. Right. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not I, me. I, nope, nope. I'm okay. just being paid to kill my sister. It's fine. Oh. By who? People. Okay. Yeah. I'm an assassin. How, you don't give away your client. How did you get away with keeping your gun? Because I didn't come in with one. And then I didn't go by the robot since I've had one. Now I just Why need to figure it? out where she's at and get to her there. So we could get a gun too? 
Maybe. I don't know. You'd have to talk to the gang in the in the theater. They're uh I think they're like the, the Duddle Paw gang is what they call themselves. Oh, Duddle Paw. Well the Duddle Paw are jerks. Is that who Too Deep and Too Deep Two is? Oh, no, no, we gotta those, go beat their butts. No, not those idiots. No, no. Oh, these okay. are the Duddle Paw gangs. They're, they like worship Duddle Paw, you know, the thing they destroyed our planet and galaxy. That thing. Yeah. Do they do it like ironically? Mm. Are they just like memeing actually... or is it like they do it? Yeah. I honestly don't know, nor do I give any kind of shits about it. That makes sense. So, uh, so, uh, okay. so bye. Bye. Yep. And, I'll, and I'll leave him to his uh, plot of assassination. Okay. 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 So what do we now? If you find your sister, will you pay us part of your assassination fee? Maybe, I guess. I don't know. I don't know that I need help finding her. It's around here somewhere. Everyone's around here somewhere. It's a ship. Not a lot of places to go. I think. I don't know. I'll figure it out. They seem to be having but some. But you know what? If, if you find her, her name is Cup Durlonk. You all know that name as the scientist who created the toxin that stopped Duddlepaw from destroying your planet. Oh. Mm. Mm. Now we maybe know who wants to kill her, I guess. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, it checks out. Huh. I don't know if I like that. Yeah. Business is business. I'm in no hurry for it. You, you don't have any uh, qualms about that? Job's job. A lot of people have died. Oh, just a heads up, though. Like, if, if you do the violence, they'll take you away and they'll put you in a room. Yeah, yeah. That's what I hear. And they'll take, your, they'll your, they'll take your hands. Mm. You lose your grippers. That's okay. You end up like me. I don't need hands to kill someone. You get trapped in there, though. Mm. Have you ever killed someone without hands? You're too young to know uh, that. Hey, Ralph, can I see you for a second over here? About oh, that's the spaghetti? Me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now about the spaghetti, I, I need you to 3D print a knife so we can kill this guy before he kills us. <laughs> oh, I shit a knife out right then and there. <laughs> Boing! <laughs> Just right into the, the is, there any, is there a knife like in the silverware it's not even 3d printed it just yeah, fell out of a prison a butter knife, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> just just a real knife even better <laughs> all right yeah i'm gonna try to sneak up behind the assassin and and kill him okay uh give me a uh let's see uh give me a dexterity check going to assassinate um, the assassin yes can I, can, oh boy that's not good can yep. i help him on that uh, what are you gonna do? What would you like to do? To While help? he's sneaking up on the assassin to kill the assassin, I'm gonna sneak up on the assassin to pants the assassin. <laughs> okay, give me give me your dexterity check to sneak up on the assassin. You got it. Cause then the assassin would roll a disadvantage. I got a nineteen. Okay, so you are able to. You, you pants the assassin. Uh, however, he totally sees the con man coming. Um, by the way, the, the knife will do a D6. For, for oh, okay. Age, we'll say. Nice. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I will let you have your... He's still got his plate of spaghetti and is still half-heartedly like, working on his laser gun. So I'll let you have the first stab. Cool. I will attack with a butt knife. And I will miss. You will miss. Uh, okay. Uh, he's like, hey, 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 what the hell, man? Like, but don't 
make me shoot you as he's like pulling up his pants. I will absolutely shoot you. You want the spaghetti? Sure. Take the spaghetti. Okay, and I'll throw the spaghetti at him. <laughs> okay. This guy kills indiscriminately for money. We have to kill him before somebody pays to have us killed. Indiscriminately nice for no money. Yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, we're doing popcorn initiative. So, uh, you know what? April, uh, Marvin, go go ahead and take your action. So would I roll a strength? Check. Uh, dexterity. Dexterity, okay. Ooh. I spit oh, in his eye. You blind him. He's like, ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, who goes next, April? Uh, I'd, uh, let's go, Dan. All right, well, I do have the bag of cat holding. Mm -hmm. It may be time to, to unleash the bag of cat holding. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's really just going to trip him up, since it can't be a weapon, right? Right. It's just it's just going to do cat things. It's just going to be cats all over at his feet. Okay, sure. And he's going to trip. He'll, he'll, yeah. They're, they're going to start um, sharpening their claws on his pants. Yeah, also that. Okay. So I don't know what right. I need to roll. Uh, or just roll me a up. charisma check to see if you can coax some cats out. Oh, no. Charisma's my dump stamp. You get a cat and it, it, it comes out of the bag, looks around a little bit, and then flop. You know how cats do that flop over on their side? Kind of oh, stomach. Yes, yeah. It? yeah. That's absolutely what this cat does. It just flops over kind of on the floor and is sitting there like, all right, cool. <sighs> Wrong cat. <laughs> Very good. There's got to be an attack cat in there somewhere. <laughs> Pretend he's a fan. Uh, Dan, Dan, who goes next? Uh, who do we have left? Uh, I haven't gone yet. Me either. I don't know if okay. I have. You haven't. So. Uh, let, let's let's do Gilroy. All right, I'm gonna try and butter him up with my butter knife. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, he says the Dex. Yep. All right. It should be like an attacks tab, and if you just click attack, it should just roll it. Uh, and then you can, then the damage on a butter knife is gonna be a D4. It's not really any better than your hand, but you know. Okay. You're not gonna oh, yell at him to spread. <laughs> not to spread. I uh, I don't think I hit. <laughs> no, you did not. But uh, who goes next, Joe? Uh, who wants to go? Is it? It's Chuck and Tyler. Else? Tyler. Me. Uh, let's do Tyler. Do I'm want? on a. I'm gonna try and flex on this noob to distract him. All right. Okay. Let's pull out the body oil and start slathering down and go for the. Go for the big pose. Yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's totally distracted. All right. And then uh, that leaves up with Chuck. Yeah. Yes. I am going to leap into the air. Gracefully. Okay. Uh-huh. Like a cat. And mm -hmm. scream out at him at the top of my lungs. Health inspector, motherfucker. And then spin around and slap him with my ass hands. Thank you. Uh, so what does your catchphrase give you? Uh, it gives me a plus one on my roll. Nice. That's great. Uh, that would be a 16. That will hit. Uh, roll a d4. my ass hands inflict two points of the damage. Okay. Uh, you you slap him with your with your ass hands across the face and he's like son of a bitch! What the fuck? I don't he, know. He's getting up and like leaving the laser right the laser gun there and he's trying to like make his way towards the door. 
Goodbye. I want to stop him with the laser gun. Oh, no. All right. Uh, you know what, Joe? You have an idea? Yeah, go for it. Uh, a roll. You All can. Right. You can grab the laser gun and try to shoot him, but you're gonna roll disadvantage. All right. That's what I want to do, so I'm gonna do it, and it's not gonna happen. But that's okay. Sammy, that is definitely a health code violation. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I rolled a nat 20 and then I got a 9. <laughs> Wait. <coughs> Wait, which one is yours? The the first one or the second one? They're both blind because I rolled a... You said it was disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage, yeah. Yep. So I rolled so, a nat yeah. 20 but yeah, then I also so you rolled missed. a 9. Laser shot goes wide. Wait, are there other yeah, people man. in this buffet with us? There's a couple other people. Oh shit, okay. It's okay, I'm in disguise. It's true. So, did he get away? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Joe, who's going after you? Uh, who wants to go? Do I see anyone else like trying to run after him? Um, no. I'm waving goodbye. Say, uh, we'll do uh, Tyler. I think, I think Jake was, was trying to scoop up the plate of spaghetti. Yeah. Okay. I mean, sure, I'll try and chase him down, but I'm not very quick. Would that be like dexterity or? Are you trying to chase him down or just are yeah. you trying to basically tackle him? Yeah, I want to just tackle him. Try sure. And chase him down uh, yeah, that'd be dexterity. Nope. Nope. Like, oh, uh, man. Too, too much oil. He slips out of my hands. Yep. 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 Or maybe you slipped in your own oil. It's hard to say. Hmm. All right, who goes next, know. Tyler? Uh, Chuck. Oh, that's me. Uh, we, I mean, he's running away and I already waved goodbye, so I continue waving goodbye and pass the turn to Marvin. Well, I mean, he is running, but he's blind, so he's eventually just going to run into a wall, so I'm not really that worried. I mean, he's only blind for, like, one turn. No, it's permanent. Wait, what? It's permanent. I mean, it's acid spit. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. I didn't... I, I missed that part. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is permanent. Permanently yeah. blind. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Wow. So there you That's go. Brutal. Yeah, I, I'm going to pass on my turn because he can't see. So threat neutralized. He he is stumbling towards the door, but yeah, he's not interested in pursuing things with you all. You're just going to let gonna him go? I'm going to take my time to, uh, since he's blind and he's stumbling around, I'm going to take my time with the gun mm -hmm. and then shoot him. Jeez. <laughs> all right. Uh, no, no disadvantage this time. All right. Damn it! <laughs> How many bullets does this have? I'm just gonna keep practicing. Uh, I'll give you. A, I'll let you have like another shot before he's out of the room. All right, Dysfunctional I'll do one more. RPGs. Thank you for that raid. Uh, we're Thanks. playing a bunch of space lizards on a yacht heist, and things are very weird. Things are very weird. Uh, so yes, uh, you're getting it dialed in, but uh, still, it, it's hard because he's blind and he's stumbling all over the place, and you're not really yeah. a firearms it's guy. Not the optimal target. Yeah, yeah. He, he zigs and zags unintentionally. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. I think I see what's wrong while you're missing your shots. Mm. You need a scope for that. I, I think God I damn it. <laughs> I Can your up... ass produce glass? Can my ass oh, produce you... ass? Glass. 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 Can you 3D print a scope with your ass? Is that what well, I mean, it doesn't have to, do? to have like magnification. I mean, it still will give it's you just like, a hollow a tube. Cross. That's a, yeah, a crosshair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah if so you yeah, want to take I your turn to 3D print out of your butt. 
table and I 3D print a scope for your rifle with my butt. Okay. I, I can try and see if there's a better cat in my bag, too. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and give me another charisma roll to see if you can coax a better cat. What do you want this cat to do? I mean, just the same thing again. If it could just trip him, you know, right? trip him sure. make him an easier target still. What's what's this cat's name? I am assuming you know all of your cat's names. You oh, this it... one's probably going to... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm curious what your suggestion so is. My suggestion was going to be Grutherford. Oh, I was going to mm. say Mittens. Oh, mittens, mittens is better. Mittens is better. And Mittens pops out, looks around, wow, and scurries off and runs right in between soup's legs and he stumbles and he's like son of a ah, ah, ah. And he's now he's just kind of like crawling towards the door he's a good assassin he knows where the exits are it's just that sounds like i've got time for another shot <laughs> it does sound like you've got time for another shot and you got a nice new scope as well yep i'll even give you advantage on this one joe oh yeah please kill him <laughs> indiscriminately this is the story how Joe's character yes. got pink. There you yes. go. Yes. <laughs> All right. So the damage, Finally. the damage is one d six. I like to think that there's just like this. I'm like <laughs> dotting the wall, <laughs> <and> getting closer <laughs> to him. You're firing like a stormtrooper now. Yep. If you've outlined him pretty much. This is a, a d six. Yep, just a d six. All right. Four. He's like, ah, son of a bitch. You were supposed to die from that. Oh, what you think kind I'm of assassin rifle it? is this? A shitty one. <laughs> Talk to you nerds later. And he like drags himself out the door. Goodbye. No, you won't. <laughs> I'll, I'll grow a ZZ top beard and I'll look to everybody else in the cafeteria and I'll say, you remember this face. This is the face of a man who doesn't take crap from anybody. Now let's get out of here, gang. Ah! Okay. You all, you all leave the infinite buffet. Yes. I guess yep. so. Yeah. Okay. I will shed my ZZ. Unless, top unless you want to grab another meal from, uh, from the infinite buffet before you go. I don't even remember what I got from my last meal. Oh, that's right. I'm Tom Cruise now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah oh, cat. cat, you got some shock grapes. So uh, any facial hair or peach fuzz you got tingles. <gasps> Ralph, you got hate beans. Beans that make you look like the most disliked person on the ship, which is currently <laughs> the ex-president Dahlia. Oh. Oh. Hate beans. <laughs> hate beans. <laughs> hate beans. <laughs> it's a great. You're all looking, you're all looking at Ralph and you're like, Fucking guy. I hate that, that guy. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't even look at him. It's too perfect face. God, now he looks. Oh. I was hoping to get something I hadn't got yet, so or that no one's gotten yet. Anyone else? Before you, I'm still shaking off face. the blue. <laughs> Fair enough. That's what the problem was. There was not enough blue on soup for you to make him out. I guess I'll have one more. <laughs> All right. All right. You get to flip the numbers of two of of two random stats. So, Joe, roll oh, a d four. No. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. So your wisdom is going to change with your Sorry. rolling d4. Everything I have is based on wisdom, <laughs> and everything else is a dumpster. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. With your charisma. So your so, your wisdom and your I, charisma. I did buff that charisma slightly, but <laughs> fuck. <laughs> God damn it. That's horrible. Maybe it's a good thing. I didn't keep going. <laughs> oh, that just means you can use your brain powers more effectively. Yeah. I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's how that'll work. I'm a better, I'll be a better psychic, but worse at literally everything else in my character. There you go. Well, I think we'll we'll call it there for the night since we're a little past time. 
But uh, yeah, there we are. Uh, and there's still a few more decks to explore and other areas to explore in this deck. So yeah, sounds Hope like you're having fun with your heist two next week. Yeah, nice. I think we're we're too too caught up on the hijinks and shenanigans. <laughs> there's a fair amount. Listen, I was given permission to have a 3D printing ass. Like we knew this session wasn't going anywhere fast. We saw the rails at the start and said, nah. We're just giving we'll John some rails. practice for Sunday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Practice for Sunday. There we go. And you all had a great deal more fun with the hand room than I was expecting. But I'm I'm glad to see it. I can clap with my ass now. I know. You ass slapped someone. I did. You, did. you can so, slap anyone from any direction. Yeah. <laughs> Multi-directional <laughs> slapper. Uh, so I suppose uh, I will... Uh, I'll, I'll do... Uh, well, actually, I'll do my plug last. Chuck, why don't you start with the plugs? Oh, shit. Yes, um, Wednesdays, we have an alien game, All Fear the Ishtar. Uh, Dan and John are over there. They are playing resistance fighters working for freedom and equality. Not the man. For not the man. Um, I guess next Friday, we're going to be back doing some more of this, uh, which I'm cool with. Uh, and I don't know. Do you have any Saturday things? No, tomorrow's okay. game, or tonight's game, technically now, is all offline because it's special. Yeah. And I don't That's know if right. I'm supposed to tell people about it. I, I do think uh, Sunday we're we're doing a, a game with Bert. Oh, yeah, we've got Sunday. more. Was it Bloody, Bloody Appalachia? Yeah, more Bloody Appalachia. Oh, Steam Steel Murder, myself and Jake and yourself, John. Mm-hmm. And Jeff, is yeah. that everyone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a totally normal thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a totally normal setting. Pterodact. <laughs> Pterodact. <laughs> and we what? may have killed Sasquatch. We did kill Ooh. Sasquatch. We did kill Sasquatch. It's not a good with thing. bleach. Um. So yeah. Uh. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah. Make Dan Dan. Edwards. Yeah. Dan. I guess you oh have my gosh. to say. Yeah, I sometimes do. Sometimes they make sense. And sometimes they don't. But hopefully today they make sense. Come on and check out our Discord, where you can find all of us, Grim Peril Studios and the Lollygaggers, as well as all of our horrible memes, pictures of frogs, discussions about games, fun stuff. stuff. Yeah. Uh, Joe, got anything? Uh, I'm working on a game and. We'll be playing that in two weeks. And yeah. it's ready. <laughs> we'll be ready. Okay. Otherwise, yeah. you know, I can probably draw this out if you need a little bit more time. It, it should be ready. Okay. I will I will know by next session if I need another week. So. Sure. That's fine. Oh, that's good. All right. uh, Jake, Tyler, April, and you all got stuff that you want to plug or anything? Words you want to say? Yeah, uh, defy the confines of gravity and relive a simpler time with your friends, family, and coworkers thanks to Bizco's 12-person portable seesaw. Pitch up the 12-person portable seesaw to your truck or RV, and you can liven up any outdoor get-together with hydraulic, childlike whimsy. And for a truly old-fashioned, even medieval playtime experience, try upgrading to Bizco's brand new deluxe model 12-person portable seesaw, complete with a never-before-seen catapult mode. Bizco, you give us your business, and we'll give you the business. In April, I think you had something. Cool, yeah. Uh, happy Pride Month. Happy Pride yeah, Month. Cool. Great. Happy Pride uh, Month. Yeah. Uh, uh, start fires, do drugs, uh, don't talk to cops, especially without a lawyer. Uh, Ever. And throw bricks. And uh, Tyler, anything? I, I can't add anything to that. All right, fair. And then uh, me, uh, I'm John. I'm here, Defenders of Cobalt, uh, and uh, on uh, over on the Defenders of Cobalt YouTube channel, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are doing, uh, I'm running a uh, Pathfinder 2nd Edition game. We're doing the Age of Ashes Adventure Path, uh, and 
oops, they're all goblins. And this chaotic energy that you saw tonight, you get to see more of in shorter bites. Uh, and uh, Chuck's there. April is there. We also have Maitre and Steven. And it's a lot of fun. Definitely go check it out. Uh, but also don't listen to it out loud at work. Uh, you will get fired. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. And, uh, Ask otherwise, us how we know. Yeah. That's all we got for tonight. Hope you all had a good time. I know I did. Bye. Thanks, John. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. I keep waving because I don't have the end screen loaded up. Every time, Chuck. Every, Every fucking time. time. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Oh, God. I'm like a literal princess. <laughs>